I've got $1,000 to spend on Pokemon cards all around Los Angeles, California. I'll be hitting up lots of local shops to see what unique Pokemon cards they have, and I'll even be giving some of these cards away to those of you watching this video, so make sure you stick around to see how you can potentially snag those. But let's go ahead and get started. We're heading to our first card shop in Hollywood, California. I even saw the Hollywood sign on the drive over, which is pretty cool. And we're heading to a new card store called Lucky Vault. Now, Lucky Vault, I know, is gonna have a lot of singles and a lot of slabs and that kind of stuff. I think I found it. Lucky Vault TCG shop right this way. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is actually my first time coming to this card shop since it's been officially set up and open, and I have to say it looks great. They've got a ton of singles and slabs and quite a variety of sealed items as well. And they even gave me a sneak peek in the back room where they have even more storage for their slabs. I think this is out of the budget. I think this is out of the budget. I think that's out of the budget. So you just got boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes of these slabs. Look at this. Shining Magikarp, Shining Celebi. Oh, so we got some old schools in here. Oh man, it just never stopped. Oh, there's my son. My son. Oh, and the little guy. I could spend all day in here. Let's keep going. After saying hello to the Lucky Vault resident bunny, Lucky. Hi, Lucky. I started looking through their binders and cases to pick out some goodies. Dude, look at these. Oh my gosh. I'm like reliving my childhood right now. These are all legendary collection reverses. I have not seen some of these cards in ages. This set came out like 20 years ago. This is wild. Dude, and then look at all these full arts. This is so sick. So many Mews and Mewtwo's. These are from the X and Y era. I think most of these. And they're butterfree. So we got a little Pikachu, Japanese Pikachu box down here. The Evolutions ETVs. Oh my gosh, you guys have so much cool sealed boxes. Look at these, the Hidden Fates Ultra Premium Collection. Hey, yo. Look at all these gold stars. Oh my gosh. Oh, they got the Poncho Pikachus. I love these Poncho Pikachus. And then of course they have a bunch of just raw singles as well. Because this is our first store, I don't want to go too crazy, but I definitely want to get some cool new stuff that I think other stores won't have. There's so many cards in here. Hisui and Arcanine. The Latias that's in the row next to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Tauros Hollow as well. I really like that Dredagon as well. It's looking at that copycat. The Brandon. Bird Keeper. There's Jolteon that's kind of in the middle right there. Well, let me take a look at this Scyther as well. They're crunching the numbers. So it's 50 Schmackos. We got some good stuff for 50 Schmackos. All these cards only cost us $55. I'm really happy with that. And I think the coolest pickup from this store was the No Symbol Scyther Error card, which came out in the jungle set, but was accidentally printed without the jungle logo on it. What's up, man? What's up? You see the gold stars? Yo, I saw those gold stars. You wanna you wanna trade for one? I am looking for a Gold Star Rayquaza. Well, I don't have one of those. <laughs> I also noticed they had some of the newest Japanese card sets, Cyber Judge and Wild Force, so I picked up a sealed booster box of each. Okay, this one right here. Those are the best ones. Not too bad. All right, now we're on our way to next gen games, and I have a feeling they're gonna have a lot of different singles for us to take a look at. This is a fan favorite card shop on the channel. I stop by there often during our binder challenges and all sorts of other videos. So let's see what they got. Next gen games has a little bit of everything. They have a ton of space to play games and host events, lots of tabletop games, Magic the Gathering, and of course, Pokemon cards. Oh my gosh. Look at all these cards. You got so much cool stuff. Let's go ahead and get that Japanese Pidgeot. You. Yeah. Ooh, I like the Clefable next to that as well. Hitmonchan, the Clefairy. I'm eyeing that Whitney. Okay, we'll double check on the Whitney. Can I see the condition on the Blastoise? Yes. Check it out. It's all. Oh, it's pretty scratched up. How much is Sword Word and Shield Burt closest to you? Yeah. This is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good. Okay, these are all the cards that we picked out. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, we'll tally up the total and then we'll see how much this is gonna run us. I think we got some good stuff. I got everything here for $159, leaving us with $686 left for the rest of our challenge. I think that's pretty good. All right, I feel like we got some pretty good stuff. I'm super happy with the cards that we found so far. By the way, all the cards from today's video, I'm not keeping for myself. They're going to members of the Super Duper Danny community. Today's video is sponsored by Whatnot, so huge thank you to Whatnot for making today's video possible. We're gonna be going live on Thursday, March 
March 7th at 4 p.m. Pacific time to do live auctions and giveaways where I'll be giving away some of the cards and packs we pick up today as well as auctioning some of them off starting at just one dollar. Make sure you use our invite link in the description below to download whatnot to get credit to use on your first purchase on the app and be sure to bookmark our show on Thursday March 7th to join in on those auctions and giveaways. Let's go ahead and get on to our next card store. This is one that you may recognize from some previous Super Duper Danny videos. We're heading into a fan favorite crossing collectibles in Culver City. I know they have a bunch of different types of Pokemon cards in here, so we'll see what they got. Maybe peruse a few of their cases and binders and stuff. Also, I know there's no sign on the outside of the building. They used to have one. I don't know what happened to it. Whoa. Yo, what's up, brother? What's up, man? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, what are you doing down there? What I'm you... a sable eye. I'm hunting for my gems, you know? <laughs> I would also like to hunt for some gems. Some gems? Some yes, gold. yes. I've come to look at your wares. Oh, no. Don't buy them all. Whatever <laughs> shall I do? I won't buy them all, but I do want to look at some of these cards. For sure. Let's okay. Do it. Is, is card that... grabbing position, Pam. Is that why you got down like that? This is why I got oh, down okay. like that. <laughs> These guys always have some goodies in the case. They definitely specialize in modern cards and have a good mix of cards if you're looking for specific ones to complete your deck or really anything from the Scarlet and Violet era. So you, oh my gosh, look at all these. There's so many beautiful cards. Okay, I for sure, so these don't have the price on them. We're actually gonna look them up after we snag some out of the case. So we're not gonna get all the ones that we snag, but maybe some that make sense for our challenge. So how about the Parasol Lady? Sure thing. Let's do the Clive. I really like the Clive. Dude, Colrus's experiment is pretty cool too. Let's snag that one. One. That's my guy. Oh, that boss's orders for sure. Giovanni? I love Giovanni. He's like Had the most mid boss, but like totally valid. What? I mean, what? That was crazy. What? You said that. Whoa. What? Whoa. Get out of here. Ooh, I like that Sylveon V. Yeah, that's the one. Lugia Break is pretty sick as well. Yeah, and then I like that Dragonite. EX that's in the front too. The Blissey EX right there. I love the Blissey. The Pikachu promo right there in the front. And then, oh, that Kingdra EX back there. Maybe that Honchkrow. Oh, hello. <laughs> these are all the ones, oh my gosh. These are all the ones that we just selected. We're gonna see what the prices are for them and then I'm gonna pick some of them to get some of them, all that's right? Okay. That's okay. All right, that's okay. all right, all right. These are 35. Oh my, oh my gosh. I know, I like the Gets this one the most. These are 12. Okay. Pikachu is 30. Bro, that whole box used to be 30. I know. Are you serious? I swear. This one is going for six. I love how this, like, this is an altar that's a problem. That's like six. Uh, these so ones funny. are going for 10. Okay. And then I'll check the Bliss EX right now. She's a little warped, so I'd consider this LP. Oh, it's a nice little swirly twirly. A swirly twirly LP Blissey is going for about 45. But if you want, I could do it for 35 for you. Let me make sure there's no creasy weesies. <laughs> do a little dance. <laughs> me patiently waiting for you to tally up the cards. <laughs> hey, man. We are getting the Blissey, the Dragonite, the Haunch Crow. I, I think I'm stuck on this because I remember buying this box not well, too long ago. You remember when I was working at my old card shop job. We had those in stock. <laughs> That's so. crazy, man. I think I'm going to pass on this one. I'm going to get these ones. I'm going to get these ones. And I'm gonna get this one. So sorry, Parasol Lady, and sorry, Pikachu. Okay, that works for me. So 123 schmackos for all of these pups. Heck yeah. Hey, man, that sounds good to me. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> All things considered, 123 schmackos, 135 with tax, is pretty good. I'm happy with that. That leaves us with just over $500 to spend on the rest of our journey around Los Angeles. Bum, bum, bum. Enjoy. Don't spend it all in one place, kid. Hey, hey, what are you, what are you doing there? Boink. Hi! So we're on our way right now to the Frank and Son Collectibles show. So we're looking for Pokemon games. You guys are both looking for games. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well I'm going in on the trading card, so we're going to see what we can find there. Buckle up, gamers. The Frank and Son show means business. This collectible show always has the goods. There's literally an entire Pokemon section that's just stacked with vendors selling cases and cases of Pokemon card singles, boxes, and slabs. While I was there, I also worked out a few trades for my Pokemon Paldean Fates binder challenge, where I'm racing to complete the master set of Paldean Fates, the most daunting to complete card set in the Scarlet and Violet era. Stay tuned for that video coming soon. It was quite the roller coaster. This booth had some really interesting vintage cards from lots of different sets, plus some really cool tops cards as well. Oh, look at all these. They got so many old school ones. The Zapdos EX. And then can I get the price on the Slow King and the Articuno both in the front row over here? 
I ended up snagging this Slow King Hollow from Neo Genesis, which was one of my favorites as a kid, plus the iconic Articuno from Fossil for $45 total. They're so spiky. <laughs> We went to Pawn's Joker Games booth, who always has loads of cards from many different generations, and they did not disappoint on the variety. Drapion, alternate art. This Tangela in the front. Ooh. I'm gonna do the Friends and Sinnoh. Oh, I like that, the Lottie Yas. Uh, Dude, okay. Can you watch the Mega Venusaur EXs in the front? Okay, I'll get the Mega Venusaur. The Professor Elms lecture all the way in the back corner. Oh, that one's pretty cool. Okay, I'll go for that one too. Pretty nice looking stack. We picked out all these cards from their case and they even gave us a little discount. Thanks, pause. So it was $120 for everything. Whew, not bad. Ooh, I see a cute little Vulpix. Oh my gosh, that Arcanine is awesome. I love that one so much. It's so cute. There's some old school guys. 20 packs for $20. Yeah, do you know if you can get uh, any hits or anything? Yeah, out of it? Just... Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so I'll get 20 of those and then this cute little Vulpix guy. I love the little Vulpix. I snagged an adorable little Vulpix and 20 sample packs of Unified Minds. Hopefully we can get a tag team card out of those. Also, thank you to Tim's Yugs who gifted a few cards to our giveaway stack. He helped me with the trade earlier and he threw in those on the house, which is super nice of him. Now at this last booth, I spotted something really special, a red and blue tag team from Cosmic Eclipse. The red and blue tag team in the middle there. Yeah. Look at the cutie patoties. This is one of my favorite cards from this era and I knew I had to pick it up. We also snagged this really sick Jesse and James full art from Hidden Fates. This one is a super underrated card in my opinion. That oh, I love and that then the Jesse oh, and James. Oh wow. Yeah. What? It's I really, really like this. card, is it? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. it's just they're both in the same thing. I was like, whoa, man. After leaving the Frank and Sons collectible show, we made a quick stop by Little Tokyo to get some conveyor belt sushi, but also to see what Pokemon items the local card stores had to offer. We found one in like an underground mall kind of thing that had the most random assortment of singles. All right, I see a couple that are catching my eye. I'm gonna go with this Slow King up top. Cute little guy. That Parasect up there too. Oh, this little guy right here, the Jigglypuff. Jacques, as well as the Wally and the Ralts. The Slowpoke. Oh, Alright, I'll take him. And 25 bucks later, we got a few new cutie patooties to add to our stack. Mm -hmm. I got my goods. Whee! Oh my gosh, it's so bright. Okay, next we're on our way to Bleaker Trading in Santa Monica. We've got about $200 left as we head to our last store for the trip, Bleaker Trading. So I've been to the Bleaker Trading in New York City. However, they just opened up a store in Los Angeles like this month, I believe. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Yo, Jess, y'all are stacked. Look at all this. Look at, this. Look at all this. Are you serious? We just opened up too, so this is this is just a start. You guys got Unified Minds Elite. Look at these Elite Trainers. Like some of these, Celestial Storm, Burning Shadows, 20th anniversary box up there, and Cosmic. So this store opened a few days ago. This store opened three days ago. Oh my gosh. I got the early exclusive look. They have so much stuff. Okay, come over here. Take a look, take a look. Look at all these cards they got in here. I'm seeing some new ones, some alt art, some, old, oh my gosh, some gold, some vintage cards. Oh my gosh, look at that handsome man. That is a handsome man. It's funny because you guys have like, so you have all of these ETBs, you got a bunch of booster boxes, then you randomly have Jazzwares figures, like articulated figures, and a bunch of those sitting cuties up there. Look at them, gotta they're have, sitting so cute. Gotta have them all, right? Dude, yeah, we're trying to catch them all. <laughs> There's also, oh, look at these down here. We got some cool promo boxes as well, some EX boxes, Mega Mewtwo collection. I no, remember this. This is like 12 hundred bucks. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. That's nuts. Yeah, I remember opening this on the channel. That's ridiculous, man. Oh. Seriously, I'm super impressed. They had a ton of sports cards and had a beautiful display of Pokemon cards, figures, and plushies as well. The first thing that caught my eye, the Charizards. The black yeah. label just is, that looks, to me it's sexy. From the, yeah. it's, that's what it's yeah. plain and simple. They're sexy. Yeah, you've got two black label 25th anniversary Charizards in there. You know, I opened like 20 of those packs to try to get that and I never got one. No luck. No. Oh, look at the babies. Oh, ah. So you got a lot of vintage. What I'm seeing is that nearly all the cards in here are slab -a 
Yeah, so we're actually getting a ton of singles on Friday and next week. Um, we're gonna have them in boxes. So okay. anywhere from, you know, your dollar cards, three dollar cards to a couple thousand dollar cards. Ooh. Um, and singles? Yeah, might as well. Yeah, why Again. not? Well, I love this this stamp promo. Uh, this one, because we already did go on a bit of an adventure, this is our last stop. My budget cannot afford. That is too nice. But what I did see over here is the other matching card, the Cram Rant right there. And these are two different grading companies, but I think that one looks really, really sick. I would like to get something else with this. Okay. So would you guys do like 150 on it? Because it is a BGS 10. I'd go 170 final. <laughs> uh, let's do that. That yeah. works. Yeah, then I can get a little bit of something extra. I'll get this and then one other thing. I think that'll work out perfect. Cool, thanks. Of course. Oh, you got a brick, just a brick of evolutions. I just found this. I, lo <laughs> I love this. This is like the sort of card shop. You just like, you, you find bend one. down and it's just like, yeah. What should I? Should I? Oh, this is dangerous. Where did you guys get Are these the Japanese ones or the English ones? Japanese ones. Oh, really? Yep. Look at the little man. <gasps> Oh, look at him. Wow, he's perfect. Like, that's cute, that is cute. Bark, bark. He can go in the background of our live stream. I explained that while I was in Japan last year for the Pokemon World Championships, I stopped by the Pokemon Center in Kyoto, Japan, which was themed around Lugia and Ho-Oh in the Johto region. And at that store, I was able to pick up the Lugia sitting cutie, but the Ho-Oh was sold out. Okay. Just because the story that you told us? <laughs> <laughs> normally, normally? We got two birds right here to round out the challenge. Look at him. Oh my gosh, he's perfect. So the last two items on our challenge. I'm super stoked about this. This is really, really cool. So we got the Cram Ramp promo, BGS Pristine Send, and then our little guy. So you'll see this on the stream. This is our little guy. Woo! And after all that, we are gonna do a quick recap just to sum up what we got on our entire adventure. And this is in no particular order because I don't, I'll just all of them are here together. So once again, you will have the opportunity to win some of these cards in a giveaway as well as bid on some of these lives. So some of them, I'm just gonna kind of randomly choose which ones we're gonna lock down for a giveaway and which ones are going to be a part of the live auction on whatnot. So you will see all of these cards again in the live stream. And once again, we'll be live on Thursday, March 7th at 4 p.m. Pacific time. I'm super excited about this live and I can't wait to see all y'all there. I absolutely adore that card. Professor Elm's lecture. These ones are awesome. Some old schoolies here. So I really tried to, to get a diverse set of cards here. And I think, you know, we got a good mix of the old and the new. Oh, these were two of my favorites. The Frank and Sons trip hit, y'all. This is great. I love that one. Uh, so a ton. Oh, oh. Can't skip past this. I think this was one of the best snags of the day, to be honest. It was so random that they had an error, no symbol Scyther right there. So this is from Jungle, but it was uh, a misprint where they forgot to put the jungle stamp in the corner. So really, really cool error card right there, along with some promos, some other full art. I did get a nice little selection of these uh, art rares as well. I thought those were really neat. Pop series Tauros. We got a Brandon. And there's still more. I got so many singles. So I wanted to focus on the just raw singles for this. But of course, as you know, we did pick up a slab. We picked up some sealed packs. We got, oh man, I forgot about that Blissey. Let's go, man, that Blissey has an awesome swirl on it too. We also, in addition to our entire stack of lack, this is so many cards. Our entire stack of lack here of cards, we also got a nice little sampler of 20 Unified Minds little baby packs, sample packs. So I figured we would crack a few of these and see what's inside. I'm hoping that you can get like some big hits in here. To be completely honest with you, I think it's like actually random. Like you can get reverses, you can get hollows, you can really just get whatever in here. So there's our three cards in there. And then you also get a Unified Minds card list as well. So that's pretty neat. And then on the front, it's got Bidoof, Cubone, and Dratini for some reason. But we'll definitely be opening some of these in the live as well. All right, last one here. See if we can get something that's not just regular commons. Dynamo, Poipo, and a snow run. I did think it was cool that we actually got them for a dollar. The last couple of items here, these ones will be opening in their entirety during our live stream. So stay tuned. We'll be cracking both of the new Japanese boxes here. We'll be opening both of those on stream. And then of course our one slabberoonie of the day is the Cramorant 
BGS Pristine 10. So awesome, awesome grade there on that Cramorant. I do think this card looks amazing and obviously like the whole promotional event behind it was really, really cool. We saw the other stamp promo here as well, but as you saw, that one was a bit more pricey. It was out of our, our budget for this particular challenge, but I thought this was a really, really sick one to snag. That's all I got for today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like. Other than that, if you want to see some more Super Duper Danny content, feel free to check out either of these videos. We got a lot of Pokemon content on the channel, so I hope you guys enjoy. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!